Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Susan Weary. I'm a proud board member of the Dementia Action Alliance and also the Chief of Geriatrics at the University of New England College of Osteopathic Medicine. I don't need to tell you, but I do like to stop for a moment to reflect that it's been one heck of a year. As if the coronavirus pandemic weren't enough on its own, it's been accompanied by an infodemic, a pandemic within the pandemic, as the World Health Organization calls it, in which we have had not only a lot of information, but also misinformation and disinformation. In our efforts to mitigate the virus and to manage it, we have went into a quarantine, a lockdown, a shutdown, exacerbating already existing tendencies and experiences of isolation and social isolation. And this has occurred against the backdrop of a great deal of social unrest as the coronavirus exposed more and more health inequities and health disparities. And then we had the summer of Black Lives Matter um, uh, following the death of George Floyd. Look around, we are remarkably resilient. We have shown grit and determination and compassion. We have been creative, even in our frustration and in our sorrow, in our anger. We have found ways to keep going. And yet, and no surprise, we're getting really tired. And this is understandable, I think, when you look at what we've been through in the context of the phases of disaster recovery that have been well studied and that are well known. The amygdala is that survivor part of the brain that you're familiar with as the fight or flight response part of the brain. In the face of danger, the amygdala sends out these signals, shuts down the thinking part so that we can act and react quickly, okay? It's about action. And so, for example, if you're driving down the highway, somebody pulls out in front of you, you have some options. You can swerve to avoid a collision. You can break to avoid a collision. You can swear, but probably won't avoid the collision. But the important thing to realize is that in the face of an immediate danger, you don't think about those choices. You do one of them. And this is because the amygdala must shut down the thinking parts so that we're not pausing to reflect on the best course of action. We have to choose one immediately. Unfortunately, everything in our society is compelling us to act like we're just amygdalas, whether it is where you get your news, whether it is conversation, whether it is um, uh, uh, information, the sort of whole infodemic, everything is keeping us on high alert. And so we have an overactivated amygdala and here's what you do about it. 